Good evening, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. So glad you're back. I've been away a while. Um, I had a uh, an unexpected and sudden um, medical issue I had to deal with, and I was on bed rest for a while. So there, I really couldn't do much. But um, I kind of prepped something in advance because I knew I knew when I got better. I'm still recovering, but I knew when I got better. I'd want to do a video along the lines of just spending some time with you while I experiment with doing stuff to my nails. <laughs> um, I, this is the first time ever in my life I've ever done sculptured acrylic nails. And I did these two weeks ago, that's why you can see the, the grow out in this area here, kind of this is normally where I would go and, and fill it in here. Um, but I'm not going to fill it in because I kind of want to, I want to show you or share with you some of the experiments I did. And, um, I was curious to see if my experiments would hold up, if the nails would just pop right off when I was done. And they, they did and They held up pretty well, despite me being such a noob at it. Um, but I'll get better. I know I'll get better. These really aren't, aren't the greatest. I'm sorry. This is a, I should start by saying that, um, this is not, this is not a how-to video. <laughs> I kind of taught myself, um, by watching other YouTube videos. And I have to say, pretty much everybody else who does acrylic nails on YouTube make it look so easy. And it's not. These look halfway decent now, but I had to do so much filing with this, with this guy. So much filing to even get them halfway looking decent. And tonight I'm going to be experimenting with this hand here with you. So it'll be like, uh, you'll, it'll be like you're looking over my shoulder. <laughs> So, some of the items that we'll be using tonight are, of course, you really can't do acrylics without a brush. So I have a brush that has this combination cuticle pusher at the end. We are going to be using nail stickers to do the sculpted acrylics. I like this kind right here. Come like 500 to a roll. We'll be playing with some ink, using ink in some of our designs. This is a bottle of Super Black Speedball India ink. We'll be using food coloring. I haven't opened this box yet either. The food coloring trick, I really haven't tried that yet, so tonight this is going to be the first time for me, and I really hope it works out, since you're watching. <laughs> Let's see. We've got some yellow, some green. some blue, and some red. We are going to be using some calligraphy pens. I've had this kit for such a long time. I think I've had it since high school. And I think I'm going to be using probably this, this nib here, the star of tonight's show is going to be this clear acrylic powder I picked up that I really like using so far. <laughs> Need this also, the liquid monomer, an assortment of different nail polishes, so a plethora 
of different like glitter pieces and we're gonna be doing some experimentation with pigment. I'm gonna make my own my own acrylic powder, which is what I did on this hand. I created some of these colors. And we will be using this bronze, brownish bronze pigment. And we'll be using this eyeshadow. It's Beauty Marked by MAC. And if you recall, um, I did an earlier video where I showed some of the makeup that I had. And I remember showing this and wondering what on earth I was ever going to do with this pigment. And then I was showing <laughs> this eyeshadow, which was, and I still believe to this day, is the worst eyeshadow that MAC ever made. It's their most rubbish eyeshadow. If you watch the video, you'll, you'll see why. I demonstrated it on my arm. It looks nothing on your skin like it does in the pan. And when it goes on, it doesn't stay. So it makes terrible, terrible eyeshadow. But I have found it makes really, really good uh, acrylic powder pigment for making your own colors. And this Beauty Marked is actually what I used to make this color here. There's a little bit of it there. And I'll show you how I did the little galaxy looking, oil slick looking things over the top. What I have here is a little stone called a cuticle eraser, and I love it. This thing is great. You just kind of, like, rub it up at the base of where your cuticles would be growing out onto your nail. And as you rub your cuticles away, you kind of push back on them at the same time. Alright. Then they're nice and Hi. Now I'm going to use the tip of this emery board just to lightly take the shine off of each nail. I'm going to put some of this primer on there. Just want to brush it just on the nail. I'm thinking I'm going to start from the pinky and work my way toward the thumb. So I th I'm thinking I'm going to do, I'm going to show you how this turns out using this MAC, this MAC eyeshadow. I scraped off some of the eyeshadow and it's getting all over the place. Ugh, it's awful. I mixed it in with this clear acrylic powder, and this is the color I got. You're going to watch me for the very first time apply acrylics with this hand. I'm normally left-handed. I do some things with my right hand, like I can, I have to cut scissors with my right hand. I can draw and paint with both hands, but like fine, fine detail work, I, I usually use this hand. So this will be interesting.
I think I'm going to do just one long nail in that MAC eyeshadow acrylic powder just to see what it looks like. When I watch nail videos on the YouTube, <laughs> on the YouTube, I sound like I'm 80. When I watch nail tutorials on YouTube, I notice they start at the front of the finger first. So I'm going to copy them. <laughs> Don't know why they do that. You can tell I'm a newbie because I kind of peck <laughs> at the acrylic. Little hesitant pecks to put it in place. No, here's the part I still am working on, how to get it just close enough to the cuticle that it doesn't flood it. This nail's going to need a lot of filing, I can tell you that right now. And one more on top. Of everything, just to smooth it out. All right. And we'll let that one dry. And if some of you have a lot more experience than me, you'll notice that I made a huge mistake. I didn't put clear acrylic down on top of my nail to keep this color from staining. Oops. This one is starting to dry up. Let's pinch it with my pinching tool and make sure it's nice and skinny and slender. Now, for this nail right here, I think I'm going to go with just a clear acrylic, but I'm going to tint the monomer. So first, let's put some monomer in my little dish. You can kind of see this little bit of purple on the lip of this dish, and that's because I had tinted purple on these, well, most of it's three of these here. Still trying to remember what I did two weeks ago. Okay, so what should we try? Um, Let's try one of these food colors. Let's try green. I've never done a food color tip before, so we'll see what it does. I'm just going to start with a little dollop. And I don't think food coloring is going to work because it's not spreading apart 
and dissolving in the monomer. It's kind of staying like a gel. So, today I have learned that this does not work. Therefore, I'm not going to call it a failure because I learned something. I know not to try that again. Other things to try adding to the monomer. I can tell you that fountain pen ink won't work. I tried it. It did the same thing the food coloring did. It kind of clumped up and didn't want to dissolve. So I'm going to try tinting the monomer with... Um, let's go with this nail polish color. It's like a nice minty blue-green. Bloop. We're gonna make it. We're gonna make this green come through. Oh, look at that. It's dissolving nicely. It's perfect. It's doing its job. And I think what I'm gonna do on this nail is I'm going to put just a long straight application of this tinted acrylic on the bottom and then I'm going to layer some glitter in there and see what that looks like. This time I'm going to start from the back. when I messed up. I messed up so bad. It's just one big lumpy mess. Okay, back to this guy. It is all the way dry. I'm going to pull off my form. Okay, here's this little guy. So while this one's drying, let's see how while this guy is drying, I'm going to file this one into a um, better looking shape. And I am not going to do my filing on camera. I won't do that to you. So I'll be right back with you guys when I'm done with this nail. And also when I'm done with that one, I might as well knock them both out. Okay, I'm back. I have sanded these two guys to about within an inch of their life so much sanding. Now this one, I'm going to show you how I make this sparkly look here. And it's this really, really cheap fingernail polish that I bought at Sally's. It was on sale at $2.79. I wasn't even looking for a color like that at the time, but at that price, it would be a shame not to buy it. Make sure you kind of dump the glitter pieces where you want them to brush it out. All right, for this nail right here, I'm going to make these little sparkles stick somehow. So instead of putting them on one at a time, I'm going to try something. I can't remember if I tried this on my other hand, but I'm going to lay wet fingernail top coat all over that guy. And then I'm just going to dump with the glitter on it. Like that. Oops.
I'm just gonna put a real thin, soupy wash of clear over the top of this glitter just to cap it. I'm just gonna dab it in place so I don't move those pieces. Whoops, I think I fluttered my cuticle again. Oh well. going to lightly buff down the snail with this little filing spongy thing, but I'm not going to do too much because I don't want to eat away at those glitter chunks, so I'm just going to do it really lightly. Oh, that one's really pretty. It's blue with little gold sparkles in it. I save up these little lotion and makeup sampler containers, wash them out real good, and you can use them for pretty much whatever you want. So, let's see. I'm going to get my little spoon. And that's a beautiful color. dry. I'll worry about that one later. This one, it looks like the form shifted up by accident, and so I'm kind of getting this curve happening right here on the top. So that's something I've got to be aware of and get better at. It's kind of sticky. I don't think I used enough liquid. All right. 
right, I've got these two filed the way I want them. And for this one, I think I'm going to put my little design on it. Do I have to shake it up? I don't know. This is mixed well before using. All right, I'm sure it's going to be all bubbly. That's okay. Oh, what's this now? When I was in grade school using India ink in art class, they never used to have this stuff on there. This extra packaging. I'm just going to make some swirly lines. Right over, starting at the smile line. Just kind of going around. Just little squiggles. Nothing with any symmetry, just random little marks. Continue it down on the sides. And on the other side. While I'm waiting for this ink to dry, I'm going to put something over the top of this bronzy color. And I'm thinking the Sally Hansen um, sparkly color. It's called 120 Diamonds. So I'll just put it over this nail layer. And that one's not too bad. Let's put a top coat on top of this and see what happens. Well, it looks like using India ink causes it to smudge more than using fountain pen ink, which I used here. All right, that just leaves my thumb. And I'm thinking for this one, I'm going to do the same, almost the same thing I did on this one with creating a geometric shape. Just slap that on there. And I used way too much. Let's wipe it off. That was awful. I'm kind of pushing it toward the cuticle. That's awful also. Okay, that, I'm going to wipe that off. That's coming off. Oh my god. Let me switch to my smaller brush. What? What's even happening here? I keep doing it wrong. Oh, now it's like glue. It's like trying to get bubble gum off the bottom of a seat. Okay, there you go. You've got nine examples of me experimenting and learning how to do sculpture nails on myself for the first time. It is a lot harder than it looks, I promise you that. I have a long, long way to go for nail. So, um, until I see you guys next time, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your messages and your support. And I will see you again. Good night.